Hey there, Maria Marquis here, and in this video, we are going to talk about how you can save time on those repetitive tasks using Coda automations. So here I've got some companies and some contacts, and I wanna sort of automate my work so I can focus on what really matters, the strategic stuff. I'm gonna automate a few things, and I'll start by going right up here to the little gear menu and choosing automations. Automations operate by creating rules. In other words, when this happens, do this. I'm going to add a new rule by clicking right here. And now I decide which of the triggers I want this to pertain to. Is it when a row is changed? Is it at a certain time of the week or the day? Is it when a form is submitted? Or is it when a webhook gets invoked? In this case, I'm going to choose when a form is submitted because I have a new contact form that we're using. Then I can choose the table. It's the contacts table that the form is going into. Now I can decide, are there certain times when I want this automation to move forward versus not? If so, I can add a condition. So if the result from step one is a customer whose name starts with A, then the automation should go forward. Whatever my rule is, I'll just pop it right in there. Then I decide what should happen as a result. Is it adding a new row, modifying a row, notifying somebody? Is it pushing a button? I love that one personally. Or is it refreshing or resetting something? Lots of options here to take that action on your behalf. And if you have any packs installed in your doc, you'll see a whole bunch of other actions that are according to those as well. So this happens not only here in Coda, that can impact different things outside of Coda too when you have that pack connection. Now, if three steps is not sufficient, if you need more, right? <laughs> you could do that just by clicking right here on this little plus to add as many and then steps as you need. Now, if you're not quite ready for prime time, notice there's this little test rule button. This is your opportunity to run that automation and make sure that it's doing what you expect before you make it go live. So feel free to use that to make sure everything's exactly perfect. When you're ready, like, yes, this automation, I'm ready to have it go, let's turn it on. Just go right up here, toggle it on, and now Coda's gonna take care of all that repetitive stuff for you. And if you ever need help, you're trying to build an automation and you're not quite sure where to go, please feel free to reach out to us. We're always here to support you. Have some fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye.